dealing with unproductive group members in study groups. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very practical topic that many students have asked about. How to handle unproductive group members in study groups. Now, group studies can be incredibly beneficial. They help with motivation, collective problem solving, and understanding different perspectives. But they can also present challenges, especially when not everyone is on the same page. So, let's get into it. The first step in solving a problem is recognizing that there is one. So how do you identify an unproductive group member? 1. Lack of preparation. They come to meetings without having done the required reading or assignments. 2. Distractions. They are often on their phone or talking about unrelated topics. 3. Missed meetings. They frequently miss meetings without a valid reason. Note, not everyone who misses a meeting or is distracted once is unproductive. Look for consistent patterns. Once you've identified the unproductive members, it's time to address the issue. Here are some steps. 1. Open and honest communication. The first step is to have a candid conversation with the group about expectations and responsibilities. 2. Set clear goals. Make sure everyone knows what the group aims to achieve. 3. Assign roles. Designate roles based on everyone's strengths and weaknesses. This creates accountability. Sometimes talking about the issue doesn't resolve it. If that happens, here are your options. 1. Probation period. Give the unproductive member a chance to improve within a set period. 2. Group vote. If the behavior persists, the group may decide to vote the person out. 3. Seek external help. If the issue is serious enough, consider seeking help from a tutor, mentor, or educational institution. Note, the goal is not to alienate anyone but to create a productive learning environment. Finally, it's worth mentioning that preventing issues is often easier than solving them. When forming a group, 1. Set ground rules. Establish a code of conduct from the get-go. 2. Regular check-ins. Schedule regular check-ins to discuss group dynamics. 3. Be selective. Don't just invite anyone into the group. Make sure everyone is committed. And that wraps up our discussion on handling unproductive group members in study groups. Remember, the key is to address the issue early, communicate openly, and take necessary actions to ensure that everyone is benefiting from the study group. We hope this video has been helpful to you, and we wish you the best of luck in your group studies. See you in the next video.